got one. We got one. Get out of my drive. Hey folks, Ola here coming at you from lovely Lake Underhill in kind of downtown Orlando, just actually east of downtown Orlando, right off the expressway. In fact, the expressway splits the lake in half. You have a southern portion and a northern portion. So that's where I'm at today. I had totally planned to go south, but after looking at the forecast, mid 90s by noon, I am not acclimated to the hot weather yet. I don't want to die of a heat stroke down there by myself. So I decided to stick close, convenient. This was a 30 minute drive for me. And Lake Underhill does have big fish. It's deep, it's clear, it's full of grass, and it is part of the Orlando Fab Five fishing project. If you don't know what that is, I'll put a link in the description but basically they have five lakes in the Orlando Metro that they really cater to bass fishermen. They try to keep the water clean, the shoreline clean. They have fish attractants in some of them. So they take care of these lakes. So I did not do well today. It started off great. First few casts, I had landed a nice bass on a topwater lure. And then after that, I couldn't get a hit to save my life. I threw the topwater, the spinnerbait, Rapala, Worm, Yumdinger, Fluke, Big Easy, Lipless Crank, and maybe a few other things, and I didn't even get a bump. I got nothing. Oh, and I did want to give a shout out to the two gentlemen that said hi to me this morning. They're subscribers. Thank you so much for watching, and it was really good to see you this morning. I wanted to catch up with you before you left to see if you did any better than I did. If you watch this video, Leave me a comment. Tell me how you did. Tell me you did better than me because it was sad on my part, but I tried. So I have three more days. Tomorrow I'm tied up. I can fish Sunday. I can fish Monday, which will mean the lakes are going to be swamped. If I do fish, it'll be super early and then I'm out of there because I don't like boat traffic, especially crazy boat traffic. So that's about all I've got for this morning, folks. I will roll today's fishing footage and I'm gonna show some of the other footage just so you can get an idea of this lake in case you are planning to come out and fish it. So let's roll today's fishing footage. Good morning, folks. 6.15, happy Friday, happy Friday. I'm out here, it's not a new place, but it's a place I haven't been in a long, long time. It's called Lake Underhill. As you can probably hear, it is situated right next to the expressway. This is a high pressure lake, super high pressure lake. You're probably wondering why would I come here well, it's super high pressure, but it's also has giants. So we're going to try to get onto one of those. Like I said the other day, I need a miracle to pull it off in the last three days. And I can't fish tomorrow. I mean, I could, but it'd have to be late. I might do a late session. I am uh, going to go place flags at the National Cemetery for Memorial Day. So Saturday morning's out. Sunday and Monday I can both fish. The last time I was here, it was so covered in hydrilla that it was almost impossible to get around this southern part. It's still early in the year right now, so I assume that's why the hydrilla's not there. Whew, I need a deep diver. I should start out with the top water along the riprap. We're gonna do that, folks. I see some action over there. Maybe we'll get lucky. Right now there's no wind, but it's coming and I expect that will probably help the bite, but that won't be till a little later. So for right now, it's dead calm, quiet, well, not quiet, quiet on the water, I should say. There's something chasing bait right there. 14 feet and we're over the top of Hydrilla. That's perfect. 
this super spook will call up a big one out of the grass. Like I said, this is high pressure and it's live shiner country. Okay, there's a lot of trophies caught here, but lots of live bait. That makes it twice as hard for the artificial users. Boy, I hear sirens and the freeway was closed down. I mean, I left the house pretty early. You can see it's almost sunrise right now. And uh, I-4 was shut down on the other direction, thank goodness, right at my exit. So this is deep water compared to what I'm normally fishing. Wow, look at that hydrilla. It's growing. I'm right over the top. This is crystal clear water with a lot of hydrilla. Ugh, here I go getting into it. I'm going to fish this area here and then head under the bridge and go fish the other side. That's where I had my luck before. it was going to be noisy. We are right on the freeway, the expressway. Right next to the airport. Got some breeze on this end. One more time we're going to throw the super fluke. I just can't believe they won't hit this. This is always a big fish collar. Come and get it. And it's in grass. Wow, look at that sunrise. It's coming up fast. Smells really fishy over here. Got one. We got one. Get out of my drive. Decent fish, too. Decent fish right over here by the bridge. Wow. I'll take that. Wow, fat old fish. Okay, fish, do not stick me. Woo, look at that. First fish of the day. Nice fatty. They're happening over here. Big bad. Hey, nice. There's some fans. All right, I saw another one jump over here. Oh my word. Yeah, it's pretty uh, dressed up. Maybe I can throw a fluke over this mess. I don't think I need to get any closer. Right up in the pipe. It's pretty shallow. I'm 
Got to try everything, right? You never know. Oh yeah! That brings back memories of my net jets job. See that right there? That's what I worked on over in Korea. F4 Phantom lead sled. Beautiful bird though. Okay, so I'm on the southern portion of the lake. I'll show you the grass. It's just horrible. Stringy stuff that gunks up the drive. And your spinner baits and whatever you're throwing. I'm going to keep throwing a little bit and paddling. Because, I don't know. Maybe I'll get lucky and there'll be a giant up in this stuff. Nope, this isn't going to cut it. Look at that. That's not going to cut it. 